Hold on, hold on. Yo, Chad, I ain't lying to you. People talking shit about Fresh is outside, bro. Fresh nah, is bro. outside, networking all the time, all hours of the night. Any club I go to, Twitter. I see the chain flashing. That's Fresh. Thank you, bro. Cool. Thanks, boy. Yeah. Real quick though, um, if you can get the merch, feel me? CEO merch, t-shirts, hoodies. We got y'all, man. Bam. I'm, I'm going to give you one of these two, bro. After. All right. Um, okay. She is ready. Ready to go. So I'm going to have you just uh, talk to her. She's going to be sitting right here. And we'll do a first date style. We'll do it, for example, like, hey, what's your name? Where you're from? What you do? And you can go a little bit deeper if you want to. But the goal is to see if she likes you and if you like her. Okay. And, and I, this wine, man. We're just going to go off vibes. And after, we might go out as well, so you never know what might happen. I like your laugh already. Is she sitting down? Oh, she's coming right now. Can okay. I ask names? You can, but no, no. Actually, no, you can't. But you can hold this mic. So this is your mic here. You hold it. And then I can have this mic here. Yeah. Are you blindfolded? No, she's not. Actually. Okay. So you can use this mic here. So I'm going to be objectified? No, actually, you can just, like, start a date. So you're not blindfolded. What's your name? Or no, what's your fake name? Give me some name I can call you. Maya Banks. Who? Maya Banks. And you, are you Cuban? No, I'm not Cuban. Where are you from? I'm from Miami. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? You seem like you have uh, what are you uncomfortable about the rain or something? No, I just got a little heartbreak. No, I'm here trying to get my heart fixed by you. Yeah, I'm, I'm. Hopefully, I'm gonna meet my wife tonight. But you sound like it. You sound like wifey. How long ago did you get your heart broken? Um, this is about four days ago. Fresh. That's not fresh. That's back in. That's way in the past. That's four days. Way past. That ain't fresh. Fresh is fresh. That's yeah, that. That's that's, fresh. that's old that news. <laughs> yeah. What went wrong? Why did he not treat you like the queen that you are? Um, I'm gonna be honest. I'm pretty sure it's because he was caught up on another chick, but the other chick. Long story short, she's messy. I found out she got pregnant by different dudes. Uh oh. Was paying for the abortion. So you ain't lose so. nothing. It's time to upgrade. You in Miami? You in a nice city? Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You talking to your new husband? Why do you need to yeah. be stressing about some shit from way back in the past? You're right. Yeah. Four days is a long time. That's damn near half a week. That's pretty slow. Fast. That's basically three months. Like back in yeah, internet Miami age. Time, yeah, yeah, Miami time. That's right. way in the past. Right. So talk to me. What do you what do you look for in a man? Um, just honesty, transparency, humor, you know, a little bit of inner child, but exterior grown adult. Wait, wait, what you mean a little bit of inner child? Play video games, you know, you pretty lit on cartoons, cultured, young young entertainment, like you're aware of things, the internet. You know. So you a nerd? Yeah, basically. Okay. Now I'm trying to figure out what you look like right now. I'm trying to paint a picture. <laughs> Are you wearing a dress right now that's cropped right here? No, I'm wearing my own clothing line. You wear you wearing a hoodie? No, I'm wearing my clothing line, my own merch. Oh, so you're wearing a t shirt and jeans? No, I'm wearing a body suit. I look like a Power Ranger right now, but I'm orange. It's orange, right? It's really not orange. <laughs> what is it? It's blue, baby blue. It's baby blue. Yeah. Okay. It's a bright color. But is your shoulders are exposed or not? No, nothing's exposed on my face. It's okay. Crazy. Okay. So the cleavage, like, how, how's that looking right now? Can you, can I, I'm trying to get a, a picture of you. It's nice. I got like a B cup, but people think it's bigger. It's not. It's just pretty. You didn't get them done, right? B cup, that's no, probably just. No, I know people think they're fake. No, they're actually real. How do you prove that to me right now? I don't know what to say. I thought my feelings would just show through my breasts. <laughs> See, I, I would ask yeah. to feel them, but that's way too soon. This is yeah, our first date. That's, that's too much. But maybe you can jiggle in them. I can hear the plastic. Well, I don't know how to do it. So. Oh, that's not, that's real. That's real for you sure. Touch the outside. You touch the logo. Where, where am I going? Got my hand. You guys see the logo? All right, now you touch it. That shit works. You put it there, ain't me? Okay, that's real for sure. It's I, real. What are you five eight five nine? 
I'm actually five three. I've gotten every single thing wrong. <laughs> but you got straight hair. You got straight hair for sure. For right now. Okay. Okay. But naturally it's curly? Yeah, I have beautiful hair and curly hair. Okay. And your light skin? No, I'm not, I'm not light skin. What's your ethnicity? African American. Fresh, how dark is she? Let's just say <laughs> I'm way darker than her. Okay. So you light skin? No, I'm not light skin. I'm fair tone, like caramel. Like Beyonce black? I, well, she gets lighter every day, so I can't even answer that. Right. Okay. Compare yourself to a celebrity right now. Like, what, what, what am I working with? Sierra. Sierra okay, Sierra. Yeah. Okay, Sierra. That was an old reference. So you got to be like <laughs> 28. Okay. You like 28, 29? No, I'm not old. How old are you? 23. 23? Yeah. How old do I look? Well, you look like 27. How old are you? I look like I'm 20. Why, why do you say that? Well, you, you sound, you know, like you're in your late 20s. You still got a young side, so I still think you're in your 20s. Actually, I, I just turned 24 last week. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I got an old soul feeling to me. Okay, that's nice. People say that about me too. Yeah, I just said that about you. So we both yeah. old souls. Okay, okay. Okay, can I shake your hand now? I want to, I really want to get to know you. Like, oh, on it's a, that Ray Charles thing. What's that? What you, oh, because he, yeah, yeah, yeah you're right, you're right. <laughs> now, now I'm trying to get a sense of your vibe and everything. So your sleeves yeah. go down here. Yeah, it's a thumb hole. That's why you feel it mm -hmm. over here. And you got small hands. Your nails are done. Oh, you got long ass nails. You got that fucking clackety clacky attitude nails. Got the cat uh, they, these are these got a design on them, right? No design. There. There are fuck. We'll call it. So you're yes, wearing yes, a yes. light blue dress. You probably ah. if, if you got merch, then you 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 in a fashion, so you will coordinate the nails with your dress. Mm, not really. God I'm damn. not I'm not cheap and corny. That's what corny females. Matching it up with the colors is corny. Yeah, because if you're going to get your nails done, you change your clothes every day, unless you're going to wear the same color every day. So if you keep them neutral. Okay, so it's white. Almost. It's like a transparent pink, like nude. Pretty bland. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and what shoes you got on? You got what those heels that, that wrap around, like up to the ankle? No, sir. What you got? Let me feel. I got, uh, you can feel my feet. They're done too. So it's my foot. The pointy thing. Okay, okay, okay. You got a nice foot. Thank you. Now ask about ask something about me. I'm I'm here okay. leading the conversation. So, I'm asking all you. these Sorry. questions. It's a blind day. I'm trying to figure you okay, out. Like, I like, that, like that. you so, act like it's not mutual. Like you act like we can't get to know each other okay, right now. So how tall are you? How tall I look? Well, I'm gonna okay. I feel like you're five eight, five nine. What? I'm short, so I don't know numbers. I only what? know my level. Chat. What the? <laughs> fuck? Wait, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. You five three. She just called me five eight. Oh my god. Yo, fresh. You know, five is the average height, right? My mouth is right here. What the <laughs> fuck? I'm 6'3. Oh, I don't know. I have on heels. I'm legally, legally 6'3. Bro, <laughs> the disrespect. I just got my <laughs> Florida license, too. I used to be 6'2 in New York. Oh, I'm 6'3 in Florida. I thought you from New York. Yeah, but now, oh, bro, okay. I feel so disrespected right now. All right, bye, guys. I look 5'8, bro. I thought we were doing well with the 27 comment, but. Oh, sorry. You, you just you lost some points, bro. And you see, they're fresh, ain't no creases yes. in my forces right now. I like that, very fresh. Wow, very, very raw. So, what made you come to Miami? Miami is not communist, the taxes are cheaper. Mm -hmm. I just got my uh, my little strap today, I can oh, protect okay, myself. Okay. You got the stick, you got yeah, the hammer, the yeah. Five. I got the five. There's a lot of <laughs> you know, I need that. I, you got to keep it on you, you got to keep it on you. You can't do that in New York without being a criminal. And yeah. now I have a lot more, let's say I got more eyes on me and what comes, what comes with, I totally understand that. yeah. So a lot of haters, a lot of people talking. So just, uh, just to let them know that I'm ready and I'm in a secure building now. I was living in the hood in Brooklyn. Okay. I was pretty easily accessible. I was living on the first floor, like Very right at ground level. Like, okay. Yep. Oh uh, yeah. From like Bushwick, <laughs> Bedside. Wait, where are you from? I'm from here. From Miami. Okay. But what? Sneeko, that name, Sneaky, Sneeko, Sneakerhead, or what is it? I'm just Sneeko, that, that, that's my name, that's what, that's what they call me. Okay. Yeah, I, I ain't naming myself, but that, that's what everybody call me. Okay, I like that. What'd you say your name was again? Maya Banks. Maya Banks. Yeah. I think Fresh said that you weren't supposed to say your name, but. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I didn't say my name. Okay, so what do you do for a living? I'm working at an investment firm. Oh, you're a banker? I'm not a banker. I just do data entry. I handle 
Um, I don't know if you heard this big corporation called HIG Capital. It's, and there's one in Brickell, one in Japan, different areas. Okay, you a data analyst or data scientist? Sort of, sort of a data analyst. No, I'm not a data scientist, no. I also do rap music, so that's another thing. But yeah, yeah, check. Are you a work from home type person? No, I have to drive the core gables every day and you know, look at emails and crazy scams and stuff. I'm like, I love to see it, just do my job. I can hear in your voice that there's a lack of excitement right now. There's a lack excitement. of fire. It's like you're, you're finishing your senses. Like I have to drop the Cornell Gables. I just got a very. I just broke up with my, some some bum. <laughs> I'm I from just, Miami. I just got a very shitty monotone voice, and a lot of people pick at it. So no, you don't have to. But it's it, there's a lack of. It's not the monotone. It's the lack of energy. It's that every energy. every sense is falling off. Okay, maybe I should move my hand from my mouth so that way to be, I can keep projecting. Why are you covering thing. your mouth? You nervous? No, it's just a thing where I I don't know. It's just. Put my hand up. <laughs> I'm not explaining to you. But, so what made you wear this outfit today? This black shirt with the with the, um, the press not denim but the press denim look. What made me wear this outfit? Mm -hmm. I like it. It's very simple. That sounded like a diss and a compliment at the same time. No, I like it. It's just, I said my nails are simple. I like traditional simple swag. It's pretty dope. Classic. Yeah, I like the classic look. Mm -hmm. I had uh, Tristan Tate on my stream today, so I figured I knew oh. he was going to go like dressed up really, really professional. So I wanted to wear something simple, but also nice at the same time. If you feel the material on the shirt, you see what I'm saying? Like it's a black shirt, but it's also. Oh, wait, I know what material this is. What is that? Husband material. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, same like this Stupid. shirt. This feels like wifey right now. Thank you. Oh, so how do you know fresh? Oh, 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 oh. Um, I've seen the podcast at least 1,042 times. Oh, you a regular? Yeah. Okay. We haven't been on the same panel before, right? No. Okay. I haven't been on in the last few months. Okay. Does the chat recognize you? Yeah, they're going nuts right now. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> but I take it because you're here right now, you didn't really get roasted. You kind of stayed quiet during the show? What? Got roasted on? On Fresh and Fit. I'd be doing a roasting on Fresh and Fit. Who you be, ro you be roasting, roasting bitches or you be roasting my Everybody, on Fresh? Everybody, whoever want to get roasted, come in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what was the most embarrassing moment that happened to you on Fresh and Fit? Embarrassing? I'm yeah. not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. I definitely got out of character. Uh oh. Because this girl was just being a dumbass. And I said one line and then she was crying downstairs after that and I felt really bad. What did you I say? Didn't. You called her ugly? I said she looked like Wendy Williams. <laughs> and that was it. She really did. And everybody went crazy. Mm -mm. So I did feel pretty bad. Then, you know, she started threatening to fight me. And then her dumbass white homegirl wanted to jump in. <laughs> it was about to be a showdown. Oh, she got castled? No, she didn't get castled. Okay. I don't think she did. No. All right. So, you know the lingo, too. So, you've been on at least four or five times. Yeah. Times okay. Three. <laughs> that many times. Why did you decide to go on a podcast that is talking about the delusion of women? Um, Because it's true, you know. I had a crazy ass mother, so and then mm. I see crazy ass women all the time up and down Miami. So I've already seen how they are, and I see a lot of men get destroyed by these women, and they feel like they have no sense of manhood, so they get lost in the sauce. Right now, they find their way through the life through fresh and fit and other platforms. Okay, let me guess. You're like twenty percent by. Ooh, yes, in my past. I'm straight completely now. Okay. But you've considered dating a girl before, but then you're like, nah, I can't do that anymore. Oh, no, no, no. Not dating a girl. That's but you've done like little 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 threesomes and shit? No, I never done a threesome. So how why you why you call yourself twenty percent? Because I have my experience with the chick. It mm. wasn't a rom it wasn't romantic. It was just, you know, drunk fun. No, I wasn't even drunk. I was just influenced. Mm. How did she how did she convince you? She just looked really nice and she was really cool. I could tell she wasn't full of drama. I could tell she wasn't full of drama. Like she was really cool, really nice. Okay. No, she just took. She took me from the straight side, put me on the, the play side for right, that right, one right. time. That was it. What's your type of girl? My type of girl. I don't know how to explain it. Just I can cool, calm, collected, not ratchet, not a stuck up ass bitch. Mm -hmm. you, know? you like feminine women? Not even too fem feminine. Yes. But I don't like bubbly, but I don't like gangster either. I don't like masculine. I don't know how to explain it to you. I like a chick that's just like me, kinda in the middle. Okay, okay. Yeah. Could you eat coochie or that, that that's too much? You want some you want a girl to eat your coochie? Um 
I've done it before. <laughs> okay. That's what I did. That Wait, time. so why haven't you had a threesome before? Because I'm not interested in men and women. Yes, you are. No, I, I was interested in the lady, and now I'm interested in men. And men. Yes. Okay. That was a hiccup. Mm, a mm. Slip up hiccup. But you wouldn't do a threesome. No, I wouldn't. No, no, no. What's steering you away from threesome if you haven't tried it before? Why, like, why, why would you be afraid of that? Because um, it's just too much planning and. Ain't got to be that much planning. I don't know. If, I don't know if I'm going to be the girlfriend or the extra girl, or I don't even want to figure out. It's not about girlfriend or extra. A good threesome is just everybody working together. It's like a group project. Oh, like a collaboration. It's like a company yeah. working towards a common goal. Nutting. When everyone's on the same page, it's harmony. Yeah, true. But I just don't want to, you know, involve myself with two more spirits at once. Mm. I, I think I could handle one at a time right now. Right. I barely could. You really in the energy and everything. So you you like a astrology girl? Oh no, I hate zodiac Pokemon readers. Yo yo so yo, annoying. you I like you. I like, I like you. you. I haven't <laughs> seen you yet. Good answer. Well, thank you, thank you. How many crystals do you have in your apartment? Zero. The only crystals I got in the cabinet is salt and pepper, baby. Mm. I'm the fool when I mm -hmm. see. No crystal meth, right? Oh no 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 okay, crystal okay, meth. Okay, no, okay, no crystal okay. methods. No. Okay. Am I a crystal meth head? No, are you, <laughs> are you into energy reading and all that? Or are you just chilling? Oh, like, uh, not energy reading. I think that's a bunch of horse shit. I do believe in energy. <laughs> I do believe in energy is real, of course, but all that palm reading and bullshit and like yeah. manifesting. Yeah, yeah. The rock rubbers, they take the rocks to the beach and rub them and shit and think stuff's going to go right besides yeah. putting in real work. I think that's crazy. Yeah, not for me. Yeah, that's pretty fucking. What did that so girl look like that, that, that you were attracted to? She had curly hair? She got straight hair. She had the same skin as me. Almost mm. the same height, the same body frame. I probably did eat myself now that I think about it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty narcissistic together. <laughs> they're, they're just look just like, like you. You don't like Spanish girls? Um, I, I haven't came across one that I'm interested in like that. Hmm. I'm not really purely romantic or really into one. I was just the, I guess, the gay night, I guess. <laughs> a gay night and a sober gay night. A sober, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we could bring it back though. Oh, okay. Listen, we could bring it back though. Sneeko, Rico. <laughs> yeah, Sneeko. No, it's Sneeko the husband. I, I'm. Oh, okay. Yeah, we like to. I like women. I like women, oh. and you seem like a classic woman. So I got a question for you. Ask me. So what makes you? Well, have you came across a girl that has gave you wifey energy, and you was pretty close to either getting engaged or moving on to the next step? Yes, I, I've been in relationships where, um, with wifey girls. But I, I don't believe in marriage. I believe marriage is in the West is, is a, a waste of money. Why get the government involved in your love? That seems stupid. And very likely that the woman's going to take half of your belongings and all your finances. If I'm really in love, I don't feel the need to bind my love with the government contract. That seems stupid. Okay. You agree? Or you, you No, you really looking for a husband. I mean, I agree with you. And I pretty fucky the whole setup of marriage but i also feel like if you really 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 love that person then just be yeah, with them yeah just marry them yeah no just be why, why what's the point of, if you really love them why can't you just be with each other um it's it's just either or if you really really love them enough to get married and go down that hill with them then do it but if you guys feel like marriage is not it then i guess not do it but some women just want marriage just to feel like they're totally locked in, which is weird. Because yeah, it's, it's for the just women. Just because you get married doesn't mean your man is totally locked in. Marriage is for the woman. Right. There's no benefit for a man to get married. Mm -hmm. But you looking for a husband. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, you, you're you from Miami, right? Yes, sir. How outside are you? Outside? Which, like, out clubbing and stuff? How, you know what I'm saying. Like, how outside um, are you? One to ten, like a two. Why you say that? That's pretty. That's very low. Two because I only go out to network, and honestly, fresh and fit got me going outside networking and stuff. And mm, no accountability. Been the last year and a half. Mm -hmm. No accountability. <laughs> <laughs> it's fresh and fit's fault that you outside. Yes. Yeah. Okay. No accountability. Okay. <laughs> so, you know how they always ask in the beginning of fresh and fit, like your name, your age, mm -hmm. where you work, and if you want to, your body, body count. count. <laughs> what would you hypothetically answer? When they ask that, you would dodge it or you would answer honestly? No, I would definitely dodge it. Why? Why are you shamed? Um, just because, you know, people take that and run with it. And there's illogical numbers that people, you, there's no way you would think a woman that's past 18 has 
other body count of six or, or, or whatever it is. Well, that's Miami. No way every six months she fucked with one person. So, okay, you sound like 25 right now. That's fine if you say that. <laughs> okay, you could tell me though, does it surpass your age? No, 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 no. Oh, it's under your age? No, but it's, it's, it's definitely under my age. I didn't start getting active until I was 19. That's when you lost your virginity? Yeah, that's when I started getting lit. Okay, and then fresh and fit really <laughs> puts you outside, outside. Yeah, I ain't never been in the club environment like that. Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. You're not bored of the club yet. I, I've been in Miami for two weeks. I'm bored as fuck about like the club. I'm, I can. Well, I, I'd rather have a connection. I'd rather have a conversation with a nice be, woman like you. I, I don't feel the need to go sit down and be bottle service with ten girls and not talk and the music's too loud. That's not really for me. But I understand that. But you want me to be more transparent? Yes. Before I work, work at an investment firm, I was definitely working in a club. So I'm. Um, oh, you a bottle girl or you were a stripper? No, I was definitely a dancer. Okay, where'd you work? Um, different clubs, BT, South Miami. Just different clubs throughout Miami. Why'd you stop? I just got tired of working every night in my heels and going through the same thing. I'd rather sit down at AC at a cubicle and have an expected check and then instead of an unguaranteed check every night. Uh huh. Yeah. So you, but you were doing that before Fresh and Fit. You just said that Fresh and Fit kept brought you really outside and now you're saying you was dancing like that. Yeah, I was dancing, I was working and I would just go home. But now it's like you, now I'm going out really not to get paid, but I'm looking for pay opportunities as I'm going out. When I was what what club, type of pay opportunities you find in like like sugar daddy type work? No, 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 no. Like, um, I don't know different designers to collab with. Maybe there's money in, in that for my clothing brand. Mm -hmm. I rap, so different artists. They might need a model for a video. I'm doing that too. Video bits and work. Oh, I wasn't video girl. Twerking, no, I wasn't twerking and shit. You can't find one video of me twerking and shaking ass and all that. But you know, just modeling gigs and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Would you do OnlyFans? Hell no! Oh, that's funny. Good I don't have enough balls from ovaries to do that. No, because you don't. Why, why wouldn't? Why would you not do only? Okay, because your ovaries are. are... <laughs> no, 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 no! I just want to do it because I would hate for either my son, my daughter, or my future husband, whoever right. in my family, or a future employer, or let's say I do get big in the rap industry and anybody pull that up, I will feel like pure shit just at the moment. Good answer. That's a wifey answer. But what, what are you going to rap about on some Cardi B shit on some former stripper shit? Well, something like that. I just talk about what it's like to be a dancer, but not in an explicit way, more like a poetic J. Cole way. What it's like to be in the club, out the club, how people treat you, how they don't treat you, how they treat you when they find out you're not a dancer, when you are a dancer, you know, family issues. Like, I do not make coochie music or lace front music at all. Wait, you don't miss that, that money? You don't miss the fast money? Um, Of course I miss it, but... It's not worth it. I used to come home, my legs are hurt, bruises on body and all that stuff. Okay. Guys giving me weird answers. Here's a question here. I'm ready. Uh, for Super Chat. So my nice question. Sneeko. Mm -hmm. Uh he says, Sneeko, what do you think of women that smoke weed to handle anxiety? Usually they're more calm. And I like women that have decided that because women are naturally more prone to becoming anxious. And so I've noticed that women that smoke to cope with their anxiety, they've realized that they have a problem being nervous and that's their, their coping mechanism. So it's not the fact that they smoke weed, but I like the fact that they have decided that they need to fix their fucking craziness. You sound like you smoke weed. Yes, because of my anxiety. <laughs> that's I High IQ. <laughs> you hit it right on the head. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's probably why my voice sounds. You smoked right before coming here too. No, I didn't smoke at all today in the last two days. Word? Yeah, I went through a heartbreak. I couldn't even roll a joint. That's crazy though. You would think I would. But That's no. what I do when I go through a heartbreak. I just really? smoking weed. Yeah, but I quit. I don't smoke that anymore. I, I'm not yeah. pro drug. No, I definitely do. I definitely do hit that. You know, hit that gas. How long so, were you in that relationship for? You guys would laugh at me. <laughs> Seven weeks. Oh, get the fuck out of here, yo. Oh, I'm my like, God. I was heartbreak. Doing, I was heartbroken. That's the first time I set my ass down and, and, and tried to just fully enjoy someone. Seven weeks. That's a high school relationship. No, I was doing too much. I helped his mom get, his high school diploma, get her high school diploma. I was cooking and cleaning, investing in his business. I was doing way too much, honestly. And that's why I feel left out. 
if you were going to take accountability, you'd realize that maybe it was something that you did wrong. Do you think that you did anything wrong or it's all his fault? I'm going to be honest. It's definitely all his fault. Because I, 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 I gave him ample time. I said, hey, I don't want to talk about that guy. Yeah, fuck just, it. Fucking bum, fuck right? Fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. Fuck you, Jaharis. Fuck you. Yeah. You watching this right now. <laughs> That's too bad. <laughs> okay, we got another chat. It says, Sneeko oh, no. from uh, Di Diego Jose says, Sneeko, what is your favorite... Pino food, pinoy. Pinoy food, I would say adobo, adobo chicken, adobo seasoning. Oh. I don't like balut. That's not my favorite. He's talking about Filipino food, pinoy. Yeah. Oh, I'm half Filipino. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yo, we got 3K watching, guys. Oh, okay. Like the damn video. Go follow Sneeko. Go follow. Slow like Jam. the video, yo, chat. How am I doing right now? Give me a W or L on my riz right now. Am I doing okay? How am I doing? How about like? Can you give doing, me a W? Doing I'm, very well. I'm doing good. Another question to ask you. I might get a little kinky. Okay. So. Are you into what type of woman are you into in the bed? You like full on freaks? You like passionate women? You like rough women? Women I don't really do too much. You just handle it. Well, I can hear that you're a freak because that, that's what you <laughs> led with. You freaky as hell. You you be in a feet, all that shit. I don't know. You like sucking toes. Oh no, no, I don't like uh -huh. sucking toes. <laughs> like so you freaky. <laughs> I like a free woman. I like a free spirit. I like a yeah. woman that doesn't have too much judgment. I like a woman that doesn't need to like, can you turn off the lights? I'm afraid. I like it to just be, yeah. Okay. It's us right now. There's no judgments. There's no hate. Leave it all on the bed. Sweat it out. I don't give a fuck. Uh, so have you ever came across a girl that's hella freaky and it kind of scared you? Never. Okay, I like that answer. <laughs> I like that question. Ask me another question. I've, I've been firing away okay, all Okay, okay, okay. Have you ever done it outside? Yes. Like in a field or outside, like a parking lot, city in a, area? In a garden. A garden? In a garden. I mean, <laughs> balcony too, uh, on the porch. Oh, dangerous. But, Yo, divine intervention here. What about a balcony? Balcony gang? Oh. Uh, balcony, yes, but I feel like I'm too known now to do that. I'm afraid that someone's going to take a sneaky picture. There's it's a just... balcony right here, by the way. <laughs> Yo, Chad, that's, if you take a picture, I'm going to be mad. That's a crazy bedroom out there. Jesus. Word. <laughs> Word. You get freaky on a balcony? Yeah. <laughs> so this is a great hanging, stream. Hanging out the window. Park. Hanging out the window. Okay, like you in that day. Oh, you like being choked and all that. Yeah. You like being smacked. I don't watch WWE a lot. Yeah. Oh, word. Yeah, I like okay, you like, the, you like the... You like the... Yeah. Okay. Rey Mysterio, me, all that. Right. And you 5'3", <laughs> so I could pick you up, even though you thought I was 5'8". Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Word. Did you pick me up? Okay, so last Definitely, round. Last order. round now. We're gonna do five questions. Okay, it's a okay, yes okay, or no okay. to question. So you guys start it. So rapid questions, like for example, last time you had sex. Last time you like, I don't know. Um, All right, but give us yes questions no? in the chat or something like that. I can't think rapid fire questions right now. I've, I've asked that, like almost everything I need to know. I know. <laughs> okay, so far, though, Nico, out of ten, what are you giving her so far? So far, yeah. See, my immediate response was to say eleven, and I'm like, no, let me not simp on the stream right, right now. Right, right. Just, just right. I was gonna play it cool, and I was gonna be like, let me, let me say seven, and then she could work her way up. So I, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna say eight. I'm gonna say eight so far. Okay. And you went? Um, she's gonna say lower than me because she's. No, no, no. I'm gonna give, no, I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm just gonna. Okay, you match it. my energy. Yeah, okay, you okay. Match me the whole time. Oh yeah, we were, I, we were cool. vibing so far. I don't even know what you look like. Imagine oh if you ugly as hell, Chad. Yo, Chad, imagine she's ugly as fuck. Could someone like shock me if she no, I, there's no way. There's no way. I could feel beauty. I, I can sense the beauty. Oh yeah, you can sense it. I could I, I'm really in tune with my energy and my chakras and my yoga. So I could just feel that you're a Virgo. I'm bullshitting right now. Yeah, I'm about to say, okay. I thought we I'm, said I'm, I thought I'm, we're not I'm, doing a zodiac Pokemon I'm, card. I'm, shit. Yeah, there ain't no Pokemon. Card reading shit. I'm just bullshitting. Okay, so I think it's time to take the uh blindfold off. But before we do, <laughs> Maya, any last thoughts before he takes it off? Anything you want to say out of 10, what do you rate him? Um, A, I always shoot him up a nine because it's pretty funny, you know. Um, definitely the way he used to fuck my ex. Thank you. The nigga is watching right now. So oh shit. That's you shouldn't have tough. Tough. Lie, bitch. That was it. And paying for abortions from other bitches. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's nasty oh as fuck. right in the stomach. I know it was oh. seven weeks, but fuck you. And I'm glad the police came. Oh keep it on to the streets. <laughs> okay. Lovely. <laughs> Well, uh, sheesh. God, listen. Okay. So second girl is going to be here in 
a minute. But before we do that, wait, no, I feel like I should do both dates before I take out my blindfold and then judge because love is blind. Oh yeah, you're right. That actually. ain't fair. Okay, that okay. ain't fair because then, like, if I look at her and I fall in love, then I'm not gonna even do the second date properly. Okay, so first off, you gave her an eight, and she gave you a nine. So I think that's pretty high. That's what I'm pull. Yeah, I think we, I think we, I think we match each other's energy. I would take you on a real date, and we could really talk once the blindfold's off. You're not, well, you're not gonna cheat on me with bitches who get pregnant by other men and all that <laughs> stuff, and. I mean, I'm not going cheap, but I'll, we we could have an understanding. Oh, we could be transparent. At least. Of course, like of course. Liars. I'm an honest man. I ain't no liar. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I like you too. Is. Well, after this, we got a table at some place, uh, nice for dinner and for uh, after party. So if you like her, y'all like each other, make it happen, bro. Yo, call me Hitch, man. Just call me Hitch. All right, just Yo, call me Hitch. Fresh, appreciate you. First ball me. Boom. Okay, so I guess what we can do is uh, chat. Any more questions, guys? Because uh, hold on. I want to give her a hug before. I'm not going to cheat too. I was really tempted to lift up the shirt, but okay. This was a great date. I really enjoyed this. This I was a little bit nervous uh, beforehand. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. And she smells good. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have one more. Okay. Oh, so uh -huh. he says for both of them from top only. On a scale of one to ten, how hard are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a six. Like a six? Yeah, but that's a crazy ass question, chat, bro. What the fuck? Yo, can you can you give me some AOs in the chat right now for another dude asking how hard another man is right now? Ayo, bro. Crazy. Ayo, what the? F okay, I was like a five before the hug. The six, the hug brought me to a six. <laughs> okay, let me get there. All right, appreciate you. So I'm not gonna lie, man, that was pretty smooth. You guys know her from from the podcast. Pretty cool girl. I think um. Now she's mad cool, man. She's part of the gang, man. Shout out to that fresh and fit. Um, so I think Stinko did pretty good as well, man. Answering good questions, uh, doing his thing. But at the same time, we're not done yet. But yeah, chat. Yo, chat, W all my ribs. How am I doing? What are they saying? Am I getting W's L's right now? You're getting right now uh mid AO bricks, meat watching, lol. She's a, she's a solid seven. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh gonna... she thick. Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> someone she's thick. I don't know. Let her live, man. Uh, someone said, hey, yo, um, uh, W date. They said, we're questions from the chat. Yeah, bro, that's kind of weird. I'm going to lie. Um, you asked it, though. No, because they told me to ask it, bro. Um, yo, by, by the way, Sneeko, like, what's your status now? <laughs> so, you know what? Never, never mind. Never mind. Uh, I'll leave that one she out. She knows, though. She, I mean, like, all right. you know what I'm saying? Like, look, all right. bro, you don't got to ask all that right now. Bro. There you go. Uh, Kim Sonnen says, 3.8K viewers, let's go. Yeah, man, let's get Sneeko's here. Shout out to Sneeko, man. Leading the way. Um, By the way, quick break here, though. Uh, hold on, I think it's calling me. Damn it. Missed a phone call. Uh, one sec. I missed a phone call, peeps. But yeah, I, I think personally, man, like Sneeko did, did a good job myself. So that'd be I was Sneeko. feeling her. I'm not gonna lie to you. That wasn't just for the stream. I was really feeling her. No, she's cool. far away. Where is she right now? What's her facial expression looking like? Uh, she's she happy. She's, she's smiling, man. She's <laughs> grinning she's from, she's from ear to ear. But quick break here, guys. Go for. Do you want to do a shot? Yeah. Oh, you want to do a shot? Okay, cool. Can you pour two Can shots? Pour two shots. Um, we got a 4K trail. Says Sneeko, just watching you and. The Tate Brothers. I made my first 1K at 14 in my business. Thanks, bro. There you go. Shout out to the Creativity Kit. We got a call tomorrow at 4 p.m. And shout out to you, man. Like, that's proof that this type of content can really motivate you. It's not just a waste of time. Hopefully, you learn something. You laugh along. But I want it to be inspiring content as well. And that's proof, man. man. Shout out to you. 4K who? What was his name? Uh, 4K uh, Treo. Yo, 4K Treo. Is she bad? Someone in the chat said seven, and you know the chat's fucking ruthless. So if I, if you got a solid seven and they're calling you, yeah, think, I want right. to take this blindfold off, but I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be patient. Uh-oh. Oh, Are the shorty here? Uh, about to be. All right. So, cool. Shout out to you, bro. Yo, 14, 14 years old making 1K, bro. That's fire, Oh, bro. 80, 14, man. That is fire. Straight fire. Oh, wait. She got the shots. So you guys take it on here. I'm going to get out. She, you didn't put no fucking roofie in there, right? <laughs> So, so, someone says a solid seven. I'm not gonna lie, eight. Solid seven? Hold on, you guys cheers I'm, here. I'm petite. I'm not hella thick. Oh, you petite and you thick? No, I'm not thick. Can I peek fresh? 
Nigga, you said, okay, cool. No, 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 no. I'm gonna be patient, I'm gonna be patient, okay. okay. <laughs> you know what, just take a peek. No, 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 I can't cheat, I can't cheat. Take a peek, take a peek. Cheers, nope, I'm not cheating. Because love is blind. I right. said, I'm and I don't going. like cheaters. Yeah, bro, I'm not a liar, I ain't no cheater. <laughs> I can't, I'm not your ex. I ain't no liar. Wait, like, but don't men fall in love with what they see? Ooh. But I'm already, I'm already sensing a vibe just off the way she's talking, so. That's proof that love is blind. Love isn't all about visual. Men are very visual, but right now I'm fucking with her energy. So I'm going to keep it like that. I like the energy out here right now. And yo, Chad, that shit, this makes it way easier to be on a date. I've like been way less nervous right now talking to her, just thinking about not like looking at like the way she looks and everything, not getting intimidated by how slim, petite, thick she is. Just listen to her. And this has made it way easier. Okay. I, I didn't come off nervous at all. Oh, hell no. Me too. Oh, cheers one more time before. You already, you already took it? Ding. Okay. Listen, Chad, did she spit in this? <laughs> <laughs> this ain't no Henny. What is this? Um, Casamigos tequila. I didn't want to be so hardcore, so. Yo. Y'all think that they want true love? Let me know in the chat, man. Because I think, hey, you know what? I think they're going to date. Sparks will fly. That's what I think. I mean, this was our first date. Pretty nice. This was our first date. Nice. <laughs> this is a better conversation than I have on a lot of first dates. Yeah. Okay. So second girl is here. I'm gonna go open the door, but you guys could like chop it a little, little bit more before I bring her in. So someone said, Maya, why are you cheating on me, bro? <laughs> I'm sorry, Chad, but Maya, Maya, it's it, <laughs> it is what it is, man. It's the charges to the game. What you want me to say about that? I don't know. <laughs> My you 23. So we when's your birthday? January 30th. We're about the same age. I just turned I turned 24 last week. Oh, okay. So someone says Sneeko, thoughts Thank on you. thoughts on Logan Paul. Thoughts on Logan Paul, he sold out. Um, I don't want to say too much disrespectful because the guys train longer. He would win in a boxing match. So you gotta be careful, Chad. Like when you really start talking shit, you gotta be honest about yourself. Like, could this guy beat me in a fight? If he could. You got to limit the amount of shit talking. So, like, inherently, I want to be like, Mo, he's a fucking pussy. He sold out. But he – honestly, he did sell out. The man does not have integrity. He's afraid of getting canceled again. And the guy doesn't really stand for anything. He's just selling a, a shitty drink, saying whatever. It's all about clout. It's nothing of value. There's no value in, in these types of creators. They're not trying to add anything to your life. They're just trying to profit off of you. Uh, Jay Hall says – a man can't do nothing if a woman will vote. Y'all calling it simping. Do y'all want him to get to be gay? Laugh my ass off. Bro, that, that's some chat shit. That's like all the, um, the guys who normally like go outside and shit. If you say something nice about a woman, it's simping. You guys need to realize that being nice to a woman who deserves it right here like Maya. I don't know your real name, but <laughs> being nice to a woman like Maya is not simping. It's just basic conversation. What do you want me to be mean to all the time? Like belittle her? Talk about how like. No, I'm enjoying her company. Nice. You can enjoy talking to somebody and it's not simping. Simping is giving all your money away, is giving compliments and giving attention to somebody who doesn't deserve it. But Maya earned it. And there's no point in just being hateful all the time. Come on, Ma. You think I was simping? No, let me see the titles. They're very intricate and not ratchet. Oh, thank you. Not ratchet? Yeah. You got tattoos? Yeah, I got tattoos, but they're pretty small. That's all this was. This is usually people's favorite, the Filipino one. That's pretty nice. I was dragging on. I got a snake on my leg. This is the most basic one I got. Yeah? Why a lot of people that? have it. Because everybody got that. Everybody oh, got that. Like a swirly reptile or some shit. You got a snake dragging. Yeah, but see this scar? This is why I got it. You see this giant scar I got on my elbow? Yeah. I wanted to get, uh, this scar is going to be here for the rest of my life. So I wanted to get a dragon coming out of it. Damn, I want to get my back tatted because I got scars back there. But I don't know how I want to do it yet, so. You gotta get a painful? tattoo to match the scar. What'd you say? I said, was that hella painful? Like, oh, it hurt like a doing? motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, it hurt like a it's motherfucker. It's hella neat though. Like, hella neat. I like that. Yeah, especially on the bone too, I, I heard like a lot. The, the bracelet too. It's real nice. Nice little accent to you. I'm getting a lot of copies. Sounds like you're simping right now. It's simping? That's fine. If I said what you're saying, they would say I'm a simp. That's fine. I watch The Simpsons. I'm a big <laughs> fan. I'm a big fan. <laughs> okay, you got jokes too. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got jewelry like like fresh though. I I don't really believe in having a whole bunch of jewelry because I don't want to be a target. Like the stuff I talk about oh, now. Oh yeah, I see what yeah, I see what you're saying. I'm already a, a target to some degree, so I'd rather not have anything to write. You saw what happened. Uh, rest in peace to PMB Rock. I don't. I don't want to really that. That's my oh yeah. 
Well, I think my time is really up for real. Okay, now. your competition is here. Well, Let me I'm get one more hug before you leave. One more hug, okay. I'm gonna make my ex mad because he's watching. You're my favorite, don't worry. <laughs> All right. I think I should I wait on first. I think I'll wait. Wait on Captain to give me his. What she look like? She better than you? I didn't even get. I'm gonna tell you as soon as I get a chance to see her. Where are your tattoos? On your ribs, probably. Um, I got one under my breast. I got the Rihanna one here. Like right here. Oh, I ain't trying to touch your breast. That's okay. I'm not, I'm not complaining. Right there. Um, I got one on my ankle. I got one on my middle finger. You have yeah. an infinity sign? No. Good. And I have one on my, my, my hip. Do you have birds flying? No. Do you have only God can judge me? No, I don't have I don't have stars. I don't have no jet skeleton tattoo, no Tweety Bird. I don't have none of that random shit. I don't no have garbage. my zodiac sign. No. Fresh and fit all you up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we have the lovely. I'm gonna give her like a, a stage name. What should be a stage name? Um, um, M Megan? Oh, yeah. Megan Fox. What? <laughs> uh, okay, let's just call her like La Lana Del Rey. <laughs> or you could pick. You could pick. What, what do, what's your nickname? What do your friends call you? Um, they can call me. And <laughs> the Spot. We'll okay, decisive. we're gonna call her um, Mystery Girl or Indecisive. <laughs> okay. Oh, Indie, because Indecisive Indie. I'm gonna call you Indie. Like okay. All right. Indie. All right. So, she hit you. All right. So that's your turn. So we have questions. You pretty much just like you have to shake hands. What's your name? Indie, of course, and then chop it up. Okay. Hold on. I didn't know what's going on right now. Give me a couple seconds. Do you want to the bathroom to freshen up? Nah. Why are you so you're good? You're good. Come have a seat. You can talk to me. You're good. You're good. All right. Someone said, "Shout out to Indy." All right. Cool. So just hold this mic and have a seat. Should I hold my mic too? Oh yeah. Your mic is uh, right here. Give it to you. There you go. Indy, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Am I holding the mic in the proper direction? Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah, am I holding the mic in the proper direction? Just hold it and have, make sure you talk into this. Yeah. Can I give a, a handshake? You're not blindfolded, right? I, no, I'm not. Okay. Are it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Where are you coming from? You smell like cinnamon toast bagel. Really? That's nice. No, you smell like a, a cinnamon candle. I don't know why I smell like a cinnamon candle. You didn't put it perfume on? Um, I have this like coconut spray, but it's not um, cinnamon. Mm. No, you smell like a Cinnabon, like when you step into the mall and they have that overwhelming smell to make you hungry. I feel like I look like that too. You look like a Cinnabon? Kind of. Like a person who eats a lot of Cinnabon or like beige and nice and pretty? Like beige, nice and pretty. Do you guys agree? No, don't ask the chat right now because they're going to they're gonna be mean right away. Just, yeah, this is a conversation. I'm just, I'm just kidding. This is a date right now. It's a blind date. I, I'm really, I'm out here looking for love. I'm looking for a nice girl. I'm looking for a wifey. So, Indy, I'm trying to guess what you're wearing right now. I'm trying to here based on your voice i can't i can't judge right away yet but tell me what you do for a living um i do marketing marketing for i would not like to release my company name just because oh but tell me what type of industry at least oh for um restaurants like website you do online marketing um it's very broad like digitally and then you know not digitally a lot of like content creation and different things like that so you create the content? Um, sometimes, or I like suggest it content. I have ideas and kind of put like the pieces together, I guess you could say. So you basically, you run the Instagram for a restaurant? Um, I don't run an Instagram, no, but I kind of help out with that. It's part of it. Okay. Yeah. You're not in a relationship, are you? No. Okay. Yo, chat says she's bad as fuck. She's bad as fuck? That's what Chad said. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm just talking to her right now. I'm just going off of, of what she tells me. But well, what's your impression of me? I've been firing away questions right now. Like, do you have anything you, you want to ask me if you care? Um, what do you do for a living? I am a businessman. I'm a YouTuber and streamer, and I would consider myself an upcoming filmmaker and hopefully comedian. 
and also just the all around G. I like to invest in different sorts of businesses. I have a lot of ventures, but right now most of my money is coming from streaming. I stream every. See, like that tells me a lot, you know. Okay, what do you what do you read now? Um, an eight. What do you read? An eight? eight. Eight. An eight. Okay. Okay. That's a riskier answer. That's better than seven. Seven's very standard. Okay, Stigo, what do you hear? Off of this conversation? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can't see her yet, so. See, right now I want to compliment you more, and I do want to get to know you more. It's okay. You can rate me like a five. I do want to get to, <laughs> to know you more, but I mean, just based off this conversation, you, you have to admit, how would you, like, let, here's a moment of honesty. If you were me, how would you rate this conversation? I would be like, this guy better be sexy. <laughs> 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 but based on how would you if you were me how would you rate yourself based on this conversation um uh, i'd be like this girl's trash <laughs> i'd give her like a three a three you said i probably I, like a four because like i would four do like, was my answer probably like a three would be like if she was weird as fuck and like and you haven't been weird up. but there, yeah. I, and weird would have been a little more exciting but it was just there wasn't really anything Yo. to go off of. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say four. Off this TJ Duke says she likes black guys, and then uh, Corey M says really deep, like hallway deep. Laugh my ass off. Yeah, how deep? So deep. So deep. I'm gonna bring it up to a five now. Okay. So deep. Hey, okay, last one here. Uh, yeah. Zilius Legard, ten bucks says Sneeko, bro. I really do this, but she's boring as hell. She's six point five max dropper. It's no chemistry. She's stone. She's not hundred percent there. My one. Oof. Okay. Damn. Well, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Sneeko, I think it's time for you to take the blindfold off. But before you do that, Maya, come here as well. If you don't mind. So Maya meet, sorry, um, Maya Banks meet Indy. Indy meet Maya Banks. Okay. So Sneeko, take, but hold on, hold on. Before you do that, you know what? Count down for one to three and then take it off. Me? Yeah. Someone else has to count. You can't okay, count. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> I can't see anything. Yeah, it's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot like, wait, wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. I dead eyes can't see anything, Chad. Wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. Oh, my gosh. Wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. Oh, my God. Wait a little bit. No, wait, hold on. Don't talk. So, guess who's who? Oh, it's very obvious. I mean, I know the blue. And I, I literally know, have the microphone. I knew so you were a blonde girl, and I knew you were wearing the blue. You said that you look like Sierra level brown. Okay, this so, is what I expected. So, Sneeko, which one's more your type? Just off of looks. Because I know you have a type. I don't have a type. You don't? He was saying I dabble in dark. But overall, blonde white girls don't really seem to like me for the most part. Are you white? Um, I'm, Yeah, I'm white, but my mom's from Russia, so I'm not like well, I'm foreign, you know? Okay. But for the most part, blonde white girls don't seem to give me love. I usually have a better connection with girls of your skin tone. Yeah. But, okay. On it? Sometimes, you smoke straight weed. No tobacco in there, no seasoning. No, I don't like tobacco. Okay. You don't smoke synthetic weed and CBD and USB sticks and vapes? Or? Nah, I smoke cigars only. I, I quit weed. I quit. Should we? Um, this one? Okay. Just so, cigars, just no more weed, no more drugs. Any last comments? Any questions? Guys, questions. 
a last round of questions. Yeah, talk to us, chat. Yeah, chat. They're all here now, so say what you want to say yeah, now, chat. I'm, I'm out of my bubble now, so let's ask questions. Oh, yeah, you're on your bubble now? <laughs> now you're comfortable? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, now should I put the blindfold back on? No. It's too late. <laughs> it's too late. Okay. Hold on. Um, someone's better. What the fuck? I'm like, hovering in the middle. My fly's down? Oh, my God. How come none of you said that the whole blind day? <laughs> Um, I didn't notice. Okay, you weren't looking down there? Mm -mm. You were just looking into my soul. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Hold on. You could bring the chats real quick. Bring this two over here. We got one from TJ Dukes, five dollars. Appreciate you. One from Raymond Notario. Okay, smash your pass on Sneeko. Mm. Yeah, I just rated you. I just went back and forth, and maybe it wasn't fair because you, you weren't prepared, but hurt my feelings now. Say something. Um no, I would. I don't want to do that. You, you seem really nice. Nice. So nice. Nice, Chad. I don't know you. That hurt my feelings more than passing me. Really? N saying I'm nice. Yeah, you seem like a really sweet guy. <laughs> Yo, stop laughing at me, fresh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. And what about you? Right. Would Would you smash your pass based on that day? I want smash on the first date, but mm. it's a poss high possibility. You you a three day type of girl? Um, uh, something like that. Okay. <laughs> something like that. That's a yes, man. So. Chat, stop calling me a nice guy, bro. Get the fuck up out of here. That I'm a be his sweet new guy. Everybody make that his new nickname. Okay, now you're trying to bring it on me. Now you're trying to get it on me. <laughs> yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with being a sweet guy. I'm a very tender guy. I'm very in tune with emotions and everything. Yeah. He's a soft boy. Yo, oh, now, no. to, no. now she mad because no, 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 <laughs> A soft boy? A little bit, you know. That's not an insult. Yeah, I'm very sensitive and soft You're when I need Filipino, to be. Right? I'm half Filipino, yeah. What is that? What are you judging right now? No, I just dated from some, from, sorry. I dated from, I dated someone from Singapore, so it's just, it reminded me of that person a little bit, so. Okay. Okay. So I think we can uh, get this a close. Sneeko, where can I find you, bro? You can find me on Sneeko and Sneeko. Sneeko is my streaming channel. Sneeko is my main channel. I just dropped a documentary. It's very good. It's a short film. I'm acting in there too. Well, then they know where to go. Yeah. This is my streaming channel. I just did a stream with Tristan Tate today for two hours. That was very good. Shout out to Tristan Tate. One of the goats. It was a great conversation. So tune in for that. I want to keep on doing conversations like that. So anybody, I'm looking to have more deep conversation like that on my stream. I feel like my interviewing skills are getting better. Would you say so? I'm pretty good at asking questions, even with the blindfold. Close to a million, bro. Oh yeah, almost out a million on my second channel. We're at 814,000. I got the million on the main channel. Like shout out to Fresh and Fit for that that push. But yeah, we're we're doing great. Uh, remember, you can clip up anything and put this on TikTok. This do a great job. All my Creativity Kid members know, but Make sure you should leave the stream up. And everybody who wants to go viral on TikTok, oh, shit. Anybody who wants to go viral on TikTok very easily, make sure to clip this up, put it up there. You can make money from my affiliate link, and you could also just make money blowing up your account and getting a job anywhere, marketing, whatever the fuck you want. If you could show somebody that you run it up on TikTok, then you're going to get a job. That's the new age. Don't just be scrolling, start monetizing. That's me. All right. And then hit uh, close real quick. And then where can they find you, man? Oh, you guys can definitely find me on Instagram, slow.gems, S-O-O-W, period, J-A-M-S. Go to my website about my merch. Check out my music videos. I go hard for that, www.slwjmz.net. Yeah, they call me Sweet Coat, thanks to you. Literally everybody's <laughs> telling me to take the L. Fuck you guys. Like, actually. That's what happens when you pay too much attention to the chat instead Ew, of engaging in the moment. Like, you guys can find me on Instagram. Um... Sophia underscore Silverstein, S O P H I A underscore. You know what? I'm going to be S I L V E R S T E I N. Okay, one sec. I'm going to get solid. So, yeah, guys, um, <laughs> that's it for me. I'm going to close this out as well. And I think this is a pretty cool, cool stream. We have 5K people watching at Max P. That's pretty dope. And uh, yeah, Sneakle Fun is love of his life, I think. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just talking shit. Um, Bye. Uh, she's out. Um, but yeah.
go follow Slow Jams real quick. I'll show you real quick. Slow Jams, so you can actually see your page. Um, 